Good morning, everybody. Even though nobody's there yet, and I'm three minutes early, actually. And not really early, because these are kind of impromptu. They never come at the same time, or they might not come at all. But with that said, <clears throat> they're always fun to do. Always nice to get some people, especially sometimes some of the ones that have uh, different schedules, especially people living in European countries, all different kinds of places that, because uh, our time slot's not always the easiest for people to catch us. And uh, I mean, as we always say, real life comes first. So and if you can catch us here and just say hi, it's always great to connect with you this way too. I'm going to put on the pop up chat, which I should have done right away. So side by side. I'm kind of curious Saturday morning what it's like here, to be uh, perfectly honest. I don't know if stay on too long. Kids are just doing stuff for a while. Oh, we had somebody that went away. That's okay. No harm done. Oh, and maybe back again. Maybe the same person. Maybe somebody new. Mm. Hey, beauty. Good morning. Good to see you. How are you? Like I said, no groundbreaking events this morning or anything. It was more... Just had a few minutes, so decided to log on. Say hi to everybody. How are you today? Not too bad. Not too bad. Kids, like I say, are busy for a little bit. Xenia's uh, was up and just trying to get a bit more sleep. Was you, I don't know if you're aware or not, but she has chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia. And the late nights are hard on her for that. So that's hard with chronic fatigue syndrome because it's one of those things you could sleep for a month and feel no better than you slept if you got two hours in. And when you mix it with fibromyalgia, they don't really complement each other very well for feeling good, but she does her best. I mean, she puts on a pretty good face each night and not that she's always miserable around here either. I mean, she is a trooper in every sense of the word. I suppose every mom kind of feels that way, understands where she's come from. Steve Belf, oh, welcome. Welcome. Good to have you here as well. Nice. I am used to be a musician. I still play a bit. I work for a large music company. So I'm always kind of uh, trying to... Uh, connect with guitar channels and music channels when I can. Oh, you have fibromyalgia. And if you told that before, don't ever take offense to it. Uh, that's why I usually don't like doing these things without Xenia because she's my memory on top of monitoring the chat if it gets crazy. Oh, you see, you have fibromyalgia too. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope it's, uh, I hope you found some way to manage it a bit. It's, uh, my hat's off to you. It's not an easy thing to go through. It's, a. Uh, you know, Xenia was 32, I think, when they diagnosed her, so two years ago. And, uh, um, yeah, she didn't plateau, so they kept wondering what was wrong. At one point, we were terrified last year. They were thinking she might have multiple sclerosis and because uh, usually with fibromyalgia, you go way down, but then you plateau at some point, and she wasn't. And then they found out she was starting to suffer from uh, uh, migraines and uh, chronic fatigue syndrome, so it all that kind of fell into place. Good morning, Lawrence. Good to have you here. How are you this morning? Like I said, guys, kind of impromptu, nothing really on the table. If you guys got questions, you want to talk about something, please just throw it up on the chat. Yes, yes, beauty, exactly, you know. It's a, it, unfortunately, it's chronic. There's no cure for it, and uh, the treatments are sporadic at best. Some work for some, some don't. Usually, they're mixed to uh, bad results, it seems like. So unfortunately, it's just trying to work with it and make life what it is with it. I'm tired, you know, especially because like, I'm older than my wife, so I never thought she would be sick before me. It never even crossed my mind, you know. I found that hard to get used to at first. So how are you guys this morning? Oh, flawless DIYs with Ash. Welcome. Welcome. Good to have you here. I'm trying to remember your show. Yeah, we did connect. Okay. Yeah, I had to see the top. 
it's hard because sometimes Xenia subscribes to channels and sometimes I do. So, uh, so yeah, you know, once in a while we end up putting our foot in our mouth and saying somebody's new. We've never seen them before when they are. So that's why I try not to do that anymore. <laughs> but welcome. So good to have you here. Like I said, this one's the impromptu one. We have a big one tonight. At 8 p.m. tonight, we have Miss Kathy on, her daughter, her three boys who will be home. They're all in on their own. And for the first time as well, on top of the boys, her husband is crossing her fingers, is going to be on as well. So it'll be the whole family at 8 p.m. Eastern. I think it's going to be fun. I was more curious what Saturday mornings were like here. That's kind of what I wanted to check this morning. I just was wondering what the actual followings were for uh, live streams. That's why this one's impromptu. There's no uh, plan to it how long... Uh, or the topic, anything you guys want to discuss, like I say, just throw it up there on the chat. It's, it's my pleasure. And if I can talk about it, I will. If I have anything to bring to the table, if not, you can school me on it. <laughs> Good soul life. Welcome. Nice to see you. That's pretty chilly to say this morning. I was just kind of a little experiment to see what Saturday mornings look like here. Um, it's 10 uh, a.m. here where I am. Bobby, welcome. Bobby always does the hello goodbye stuff. <laughs> I haven't had your hello goodbyes in a couple of days. We were actually wondering where you were. Great, guys. Yeah, if you haven't supported each other, please do. And if, if you guys see us and you haven't been on our channel for a bit, please go on, leave a comment, and I'll go watch another one of yours so we can keep connected. A push a nation. Well, I like that. Wow, thank you. Thank you, Michael. That's really cool. Appreciate it. Fushin Nation. Never thought of it that way. That's how I roll. Welcome. Welcome. That's how I roll. Welcome, Terrell, who holds this whole ship together. Oh, my God. She noticed that we gave everybody, almost everybody else, we gave, well, not everybody else, but a bunch we gave uh, mods to for a long time. It was pretty much her. And our other mod, who we later found out is only 10 years old, which we find kind of funny. He was excited for his birthday. Uh, you know, like I said, this one's kind of just relaxed this morning. Just wanted to check out Saturday morning, see what it looks like here. We would never looked into doing live streams, so I'm, I have no input onto it. I mean, we've done, I would say we've taken off quite well. Interviewing a guest pretty much every night has been the secret to it and the chat. I mean, I, I, I'm, we, we're completely convinced it was just the two of us yapping all the time. We don't have a lot to say for enough to make a good channel. So, but it seems to be working. So, you know, we'll just, we're just trying to, I think we're going to, still early on into it though, and I'm a bit nervous, but I'm thinking about not going too big, but upgrading a few little things just to make this easier. Because this living room, uh, what we did was we bought couches that sit lower, and then we bought uh, a table from Ikea, the ones that are made kind of higher than a coffee table, more to go behind a, a couch. I forget the name of these things, because anyone would know exactly. And uh, we used that, so it kind of sits high enough. Now I'm going to go maybe today to Reno Depot, and I'm going to buy a... I don't know sheet of uh, melamine or something like that. Then I'm going to get a cut. I'm going to put in sliders here so we can slide out and keep our laptops maybe in front while the dust sits behind. I'm not sure yet. Just to make it easier, and I want to get proper stands for the microphone and the camera. Um, little things. Maybe maybe a light. Uh, I don't know. Lights are good. Maybe shades for them. We got some here, but I'd rather keep those for work. That's the hardest part because we got to set up everything every night because we use this as our office. It's also our living room and also where we're doing streaming now. So I want to be able to make it that we can just clamp. I want to find like clamps, actual good thick two inch clamps that I can use to hold the mics and the camera at least. So we can just clamp it on. It's always at the right length. Don't have to play with it. Rita Walker, welcome. Good to have you this morning. Japanese Lifestyles, welcome. It's good to have you here. Japanese Lifestyles, that's intriguing. Let's go to your channel. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm going to leave this open. I remember you. 
Oh no, no. Okay, I see what happened. Oh, I hate when, I hate when that happens. I'm gonna try that again. Uh, my, uh, yeah, I'm sure we've connected before. I'm sure I just clicked on the wrong one by accident. No, it says it's, I'm not connected to you, but I'm sure your channel looks familiar right off the bat. And it wasn't that long ago. To me, that's like another YouTube thing going. Well, either or, there you go. You're at 117, and now you're at 118, and there's the bell. So we're good. And then I'm going to leave it open. I'll go watch a video when I'm done. If you can drop by and check ours out as well and uh, keep connected, uh, make sure that you're still connected with us. We'll just leave a message because we have a lot of great guests coming, guys, uh, in the next couple of weeks. I can't believe how many people want to be on the show. Like, you know, it's filling up like crazy. So. Oh, who's your back? Welcome. Excellent. Excellent to coffee. Good to have you here. Got a great channel, too. That's one thing, too, guys. Our chat, I'm very proud of that. We got a lot, a lot of great channels that come by. I would say, I hate to use the term, I don't mean to sound sacrilege, because I know some people are really strong with that, but like almost, I can say religiously every night, six nights a week, and it just blows me away. That with all the stuff going on, and how new we are to live streaming, how you guys choose to spend your time with us, it's the most, uh, it's the greatest feeling in the world, because like I say, we had no wants to ever do live stream. But, uh, just dropped by, just dropped a catch and cook video. Oh, really? Well, I shall open up your channel, and I will go watch that after. Oh, mushrooms. Excellent. That's really good. Cool. I'm going to definitely check that out after. Where, where are you based out of again, uh, Hosier? I'm always worried I'm pronouncing these channels wrong. That I'm uh, putting a syllable where it shouldn't be, or something like that. That's like my wife's name. Everybody keeps asking all the time, and it's K S E N I J A. But you you don't pronounce the K. It's because it's Russian. You kind of pronounce it like the X, but just the the end of a sound. So Xenia. Indiana, oh, because uh, you see, when I first uh, when I first met you, the eye kind of I didn't I guess I just didn't visually see it. For a second. I thought it was like hoser, and it's that whole uh, Canadian SCTV nickname. So I thought you were a Canadian at first. I realized right like very soon after you weren't, but initially that's what I thought. <laughs> oh, that's how I roll. That is so amazing. Oh, I got to tell Xenia to go back and see that after. That is classic. Dropping by your channel is like visiting friends, but we can do it in our underwear. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I've, I've done them before. I've had pajamas once or twice, bottoms, like, but, yeah. <laughs> but you guys at home that aren't on it, exactly. <laughs> too, nah, too cold. <laughs> Like, we were talking about that last night with St. Otto. Like, people don't realize with Montreal, and yeah, apologies to anybody in the States. I'm going to do Celsius just because I, uh, it's hard to convert on the fly. <clears throat> people don't realize that, but where Montreal is, we have a very hot and a very cold city. Like, um, in the summer, it's plus 40, but in the winter, it's minus 40, and that's literally, and in the, it's not just those temperatures, but it's compared to the Midwest in those areas, we have a very, very, very... Uh, humid weather system like as teenagers going out in the in the winter to catch the bus like your hair if it's wet it's like frozen in place your jeans we used to call them stovepipe jeans because the dampness would get at them waiting for the bus you kind of look like the tin man sometimes after getting on it it's um it's cold as sometimes as people think but it's also hotter than a lot of people realize as well in the summer 
it is a really a place of extremes here. And I mean, we do go into the 40s. We do go into 43, 44 degrees. Well, what is that anyways? Let's, uh, let's try 44. 44 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit. 44 degrees Celsius equals 111.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Hmm. Yeah, I know. I know that's our role. The weather is in such a mess this year. <laughs> Rocking the Tin Man look, exactly. 100%. <laughs> But on the other side, too, which my wife noticed when she first came to Canada and Montreal, I'm not saying it because I'm from here. It's been said tons of times. I mean, the women here are so unbelievably gorgeous and fashion comes way, way, way before proper dress attire for the cold. And I would take her down on St. Catherine Street and she'd be amazed how many girls were walking around in like mini skirts and stuff like that, like with no pantyhose, high heels on. Minus 35, jumping between the clubs and stuff like that. They embrace it here. Uh, that part's cool. And another thing people don't know, uh, Montreal has an underground city. And all the metro stations that connect the city, I think there's 65 stations in Montreal. Well, St. Catharines is the main street. And all along there on both sides of the street where those metros all connect and back usually three to four streets out on each side, they're all interconnected with a maze of underground uh, tunnels that connect all shopping malls, all uh, businesses to uh, skyscrapers. So most people can go to work on very snowy days, and once they go down the metro station, they don't see like any weather till they come back after after they're done their day of work at the very end. And that's what keeps the city from shutting down with huge amounts of snow. It is quite, I think the last time the city was officially shut down for snow was 1971, I think was the last time. That's cool, guys. Good to see us getting to see, to meet each other and that. That's been so cool watching all the overlap. I, we were talking about that again last night too, you know, uh, I met a guy, Eric the Red, uh, RC, got this great RC channel, and uh, he came over, and then some of the RC guys from there started coming over, and then the engine guys were getting to meet them, and some of them, I mean, just because you're in RCs doesn't mean you don't like uh, cinematography. Like, my rural shots appeal a lot to people who are into wilderness, uh, survival, uh, four-by-fours, all those things kind of work together. And even more, like some of them I've had that... Uh, from the mud mower side come over and they really like like my montreal murals is done in dubs heavy heavy dubstep because not everybody's pegged and like with blinders so it's always good to get to know each other oh man no 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 <laughs> i had to i sorry i had to read that for a second before uh, thank you, uh, Japanese. So, yeah, I thought it was neat. It, it is. I mean, everybody's got a story from everywhere they come, so it's always good to share things like that. No, James didn't ban us. Uh, it's, it's, there's only so many hours in a day. We did it last week, and, I mean, James graciously offered again, but, uh, like, last week, too, we had a guest, and we have one booked. I mean, we don't do it. We did it in advance before that was even mentioned about marathons. We have kids. We have uh, our business running. I mean, it is the weekend, too. And like he offered, because we were around 1350, you know, it helps get to 1500. I still want to grow. And I find, as a side note to anybody wondering, it's a way harder for me right now to, than when I went from 1250 to 1360, a thousand times harder than it was to go from 42 to 1250, because nobody, nobody wants to support you once you're over a thousand, it seems like. They say they do. They come to their channel, and you can always tell your numbers aren't moving. You can see it. It's uh, it, it really goes down a lot, and that's disheartening. But at the same time, James offered, you know, and he said, we'll get on, we'll probably get us up to 1,500. But I, I don't want to take the spotlight from something like that. I really think it should be smaller channels. You know, I want to see guys on there with a couple hundred, uh, you know, somebody who's at 920 or something like that. You know, it, it, it's it's... It's meant for them. I want to see them hit the 1K mark like that. It's more important. So, 
and like I say, we've always been like that in Snowfan. We've always been quite transparent. We're we're not an we supported I am Creator. We've been with them since again, but we're not an I'm I'm a Creator channel. Well, we've never claimed to be. First and foremost, we're a licensed business. Pusha Studios is registered with the Quebec and federal government here, and we do photography and cinematography, weddings, corporate events. And I would never want to put my name and give too much to something that I wouldn't be able to give it its proper uh, proper push. I did. I mean, we've worked with I'm a Creator, and we still send people there. And you know, we we bring it up. Zinni and I talked about probably about on average every 15 minutes, you know, we mention it to somebody. Because, I mean, anybody knew I'm sending them over that way. Hey, I let them go, let them grow there, you know. I don't, I was, I got some growth out of that. So I want them to get that too, you know. I hope I explain it. Because, like I said, the other day we had that problem with the other guy again, uh, not from the creator, from another movement. And, you know, um, yeah. We were, that's why when our stories, when we get people on, and that guy the other day, like I told him, I, I, we've always said that we're not a platform. We want to get to know, even when you do your channel, like if your channel, like I uh, see UK, you, like you do anime. Well, that's great, but I don't want to just talk about anime for two hours. I want to talk about you. What got you into anime? Where you grew up? Uh, we bring up Musky Hans all the time. Great fishing guy from Wisconsin. Find out the guy's got his PhD, going for his PhD and writing his dissertation. Um, even Stephanie from uh, Best Friend Your Thread, you know, we kind of, her and I joke around all the time, but it was kind of neat to, uh, uh, it was kind of fun to get to know her a little bit more. And I think that. That's why we kind of joke sometimes that we're I'm a creator 2.0. We're going to the next level now and helping us stay together for years. The ones I've met there. I love subscribers. I like subscribers, but I love actors. Exactly. And that's why when we're meeting and you're getting to know somebody for an hour and a half and their backstory and you find out all this great information about them you didn't know, I really think that will keep you going back to them and you'll never look at their videos the same way again. It's like when you meet somebody on the street, you know, and they show you, oh, these are my pictures. Well, they're great and they're nice and you like them and you like what they do. But if you go to lunch for that with that person and you talk about it for, uh, you know, about with them for two hours and get to find out that they grew up in such a such place, they had a hard time, uh, they were once a firefighter. I don't know anything that's out that you don't get in their videos. I think it's quite amazing. Love me some musky Hans. <laughs> It is kind of uh, it is kind of slow. Eh? Saturday morning. I was really curious what Saturday morning would look like. I wasn't sure. I just want to kind of. I was like, uh, and it's always good to talk with you guys. I'm not. I mean, this is not a main show. I'm just hanging out for a little bit. So it's just great to hang out with you guys because I know some of it's very hard to catch our stream because of the time difference. So it's a great way to catch you guys and you know let you know we we still like what you do and everything else and we're thinking about you. Yes, that's how I roll. 100%. And it complements everything because we're always getting new people coming in. Because every time you're bringing in a guest, I mean, they got some of their biggest followers that maybe I'm not connected with, you're not connected with coming in. So you get to know them. I, I love the gray area of YouTube. Like, we're lucky. We have a very, even before we did the live streams, we're a very wide spectrum. We can appeal to a lot of different areas. But there's a ton, ton, ton of specialty channels on here. You know, RC racing, cooking. Um, some stuff is, like, super specific. So it's very hard to break out of that mold. And you need a core following of your peers in those areas because otherwise you're not going to grow. You need them for challenges, for collabs. But, like, you know, um, uh, like, n let's take uh, that monk uh, guy from England I love so much, uh, knife monkey, uh, monkey Knife Guy, I forget his name. Like, he reviews knives, but, I mean, he has people in there that are mud molders and people who are hunters and people who are butchers who like knives, and then you'll spread it even further. Lots of people just like pocket knives, and they're into that. Survival guys will be into it. And then you'll just get regular Joes who are into it. There's so much room to grow, even if you are specialized. Uh, oh, good morning, Happy Trails. Welcome. 
our show's about health, but we have uh, outdoor friends and photographers. Exactly. I mean, that all overlaps. Oh. Oh, Hosier, thank you so much. I, I appreciate it. And, like, I, we feel so out of place about it. Even when we get a compliment, because, like I said, we had no plans to do it. We have no training to do it. We're actually... We're painfully shy and terrified to be on our first live stream we ever went on to. So, you know, I mean, for what it is, I know it sounds cliche, you can't get much more of a, a genuine, real person in front of the lens because we haven't even had time or the plans or the want to ever make a persona. But thank you. Uh, it means a lot. I really do appreciate it. You know, we just do our thing. Like that's why you'll see, like I, I even like some people say, like you know, they really like my editing skills, and I believe that's my strong suit. Everybody's got to have a strong suit to be on here. I'm not good at pushing myself, but I'm pretty good. I mean, there's people a thousand times better, and uh, my wife's an extremely good photographer. But we're not here. I don't want to preach to people, and I don't want to be. I don't want to play God complex on. That. That's what I don't like about channels. But, and I've been in this. Off and on since like the the, the late nineties, the MIRC channels and all that stuff, and I've always seen it, and it gets carried away, and you know, it's always gets that Lord of the Flies effect, and alliances and fighting amongst each other, and controlling and jealousy and all these things, and Xen and I made a pact to each other. The day that starts really impacting us, we're just walking away from it because it's listen there's not this is not we're not getting rich off this we're not getting anything off of this really except i'm am getting in parts of building a good following for a channel um and quality for a channel quality growth yes healthy i agree with you 100 percent and it is, and I'm just trying not to even think about them anymore. Like, I, I'm really, I get frustrated with stuff like that. That's when Xenia rubs my shoulder. She always does on my hand like that. She has this way of calming me down when I'm not in a good mood. She's had to do it a lot, it seems like, the last couple of weeks sometimes. But, you know, I, I've kind of came to the analogy, I've used it a couple times, that it's, uh, it's like sowing a field. And you have 100, whatever crop you pick, wheat, barley, whatever you want to say. You know, sometimes 10 of them won't germinate, but eh, you still got 90. And some of them, 90, aren't going to care either, but they're still going to grow up and people will still eat it. Look at it this way. At least they're there. And uh, it makes your channel a bit bigger, so more people who really care about what you do will see it. Yes, beauty, exactly. Uh, 100%. Like I say, I've been doing videos for up here for a year. And in February 2nd, I had 42 subscribers. I was fed up. I, had already, I was already done at Christmas. I had a one-hour train video I worked on for uh, 80 hours, at least, editing. That was a two-day trip I took with my son. And I didn't even put it up. I didn't care. Well, well nobody else cares. Why should I? And, uh, you know, uh, it was Peter McKinnon who did the video about when the apocalypse, and I mean, he lit a fire under me that I needed. I didn't know if I was going to fall through with it, but it was definitely worth a try. Healthy trails, uh, we try not to worry about them, but as we are new to our channel, we need all the subscribers we have. So hard to be patient. Yeah, I know. I I get you loud and clear. There's lots of us in here who's gone through that, and it isn't easy. And it's get I find it's getting hard again. I noticed that. I think the heyday passed about three weeks ago, to be honest. But I think things will still hold out. Miss Kathy, good morning. Our guest for tonight. Good to have you. Always a pleasure.
Yes, that's how I roll. Exactly. They, you know, everything starts on good intentions. It's just people start getting all crazy. Not even the organizer, just people inside of it. They start fractioning and stuff like that. And so that's why I always kind of kept it at an arm's length. We're with it, but I mean, I'm, I, I don't want, I could never put hashtag into all this stuff because we are first and foremost a business. And at the end of the day, that's what feeds my family. It's, I love this YouTube channel. I love our live stream. I was growing, blows me away. But it's not what pays the bills. And I, we got two kids, you know. Raven, welcome. So good to have you here. Always a pleasure. I always love her name, brother. I'm so I love the idea yesterday about the two Ravens collaborating. Yeah, I know. Hey, Kathy, it's weird. Like usually we don't do Sundays, and I feel like Xenia and I talk about it. Like you know, like we almost feel like you're skipping school or something like that. Real time. Good morning. Yeah, that's right. So is life. You know. You know, I've always said that. You know, it's working together. Like Saint Otto brought up something really great last night, and Xenia made a note of it. We're going to push that too. I don't want to misquote it because it will come out wrong, but basically it means like a group of creators. Everything is just kind of uh, working together as one big unit like that, and that I do like, instead of like fighting over allegiances and stuff like that and everything, which I, I have no time for. Not a, That was a long interview last night, eh, Camaro time? I think that's the longest one we ever had. Fridays are kind of a weird night, so it worked out. Not that it was weird with the interview. I meant it's weird because there's so many live streams and so many people not watching live streams at the same time. It's a really weird dynamic. Oh, thank you, Raven. I'm I'm honored of that. Thank you so much. That's that's so sweet of you. Hey, you too. Uh, you guys really do mean a lot. I mean, I can't stress enough how many times Xenia and I sit there after that's done and see the names and think, this is so amazing that these people chose with everything else going on and our lack of experience doing live streams to come and sit with us. It, it, it is unbelievable. Kathy, for interview... Do we have uh, are we any closer confirmation of the boys uh, as for one and uh, husband as well? I've been wondering about that. I was actually just about to message you. That's why I'm so glad you're here. I can ask you in person. Yes, happy trails. Same thing. I, I Yeah, they were having a bit of trouble. YouTube was working really bad last night, and some other live streams I talked to after, they were having a heck of a time. Things just kept, because um, our volumes were off and stuff like that. It was just, uh, they were resetting the streams all the time. That happened last week for like two, three days. A bunch of us got hit. But it, it isn't the easiest for sure. Yes, Happy Trolls, like I was saying, I really miss... Uh, uh, my I miss my editing. Like I have a bunch of stuff sitting there, and I'm I'm this week I finally got to get this organized that I managed to do work and live streams, and then also my edited stuff because that was the whole point of building an audience. Also, was to see my edited stuff. Excellent. I was wondering, Kathy, do you have a picture of you, Jesse, and your husband? You can send me, and your husband I can gray him out and put a question mark onto it. I thought that'd be fun. Or if you have one with all the family, I can like leave you and Jesse and I can gray out everybody else like with little question marks all over them. Because the one you sent is great. It's a little bit small for me to be able to use though because I work in 300 DPI. I can try to work with it if worst case, but if you have anything bigger would be a real help. Well, if you're having me some coffee, Terrell, I'm having me some coffee, too. <laughs> My God, that, the thermos works good. Xenia got it for me for Christmas, but it keeps on. I never drank hot coffee in my life. I was a truck driver earlier on in my life and did all these things. Never touched coffee, hated it. 
but we have a long drive to my parents house it's eight eight hours about 850 kilometers and she's from europe where 80 kilometers is considered like driving off the world so she wasn't used to me only stopping once in eight hours with a truck driver bladder so finally she after all these years she finally convinced me to start drinking coffee and her whole plan was is then she could get me to stop because i would stop for coffee more once i got into it which meant she'd get more bathroom breaks when we go traveling so it worked Oh, Sil uh, Silver Etro Collector. I hope I pronounced that properly. Thank you so much. And I'm going to make a note to you right here, right now. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. I do remember you. I do have you here subscribed. And I think the last one, uh, yes, the Blu ray video, I think, was the last one I watched. You made like two days ago. Welcome. So good to have you. Bottle caps. Bottle caps was Xenia had to spank them last night. <laughs> I just, you guys are so funny. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she is. She is. It's, it's a woman thing. Women are really good at planning. You guys can plan stuff out two and a half years in advance and keep on track. Guys forget what they were going to do by the time they end the thought. <laughs> Oh, what happened, Camaro Time? I mean, if you want to share, I, if you don't, that's fine. I hope everything is okay. <laughs> You're sweet, Raven. That's another woman thing. Give them enough credits. Give them a tiny compliment now and then. They will run. They will go to their head and they'll forget. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, Tony, I will. And by the next time you're in here, I'll probably forget. You'll have to remind me again. So please don't take it to heart. I have the worst memory going, but Tony, it is. Yeah, work for that. Oh, I, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, I am I, you. You have my prayers, my thoughts. I mean, we only connected recently, but I do believe you to be a stand-up guy, and I, um, it's okay to feel like to feel that way. And definitely, please take all the time you need. Things always do work out. It's not always easy. And if I was in your position at the moment right now, I wouldn't want anybody telling me that. But I know you would be telling me that. But it does, but it's it's not easy, and it's it's to feel like the wool the carpet has been pulled out for. No, never apologize for that, Camaro. Never apologize for that. I don't like drama. I have no problem with somebody being honest. There's a huge, huge, huge difference there. You never have to apologize for anything like that. Hey, our lives aren't perfect either. We, we've said that from the get-go. We try to give a break when we do our show at night, you know, a little bit, so we don't go on and on about my problem. But we never also paint everything as it's rosy. I mean, life is hard. It really can be by times. Yeah, I exactly came around drama, but I mean that's not drama what you're talking about, my friend. And you and I, my heart goes out to you. You know, you see, like Raven and that. You know, you got people. That, uh, yes, we haven't met face to face, but it doesn't mean somebody doesn't have compassion or care. You know, and we do care for you. Yeah, I, I don't want to see any of you guys in any hardships whatsoever. Um, I, I. Uh, it will take a bit of time to process and then, you know, then start to figure out where things go from there. But things do work out. And it's amazing. There's always these times right now that you look back on a couple months later and, and you'll remember just how 
hard it felt at that moment and how much of a better spot you're into compared to that moment. Just hang in there. I, I don't know. I think this is pretty good for a Saturday morning, would you guys say? We got nine here, it says right now. I figure it must be then, like, and I don't even know for Sunday morning, must be some of the hardest times there are. But, like I said, this is all kind of new to me, especially especially the morning stuff. I have so many windows open here. Don't mind me. I'm just checking. Oh. I got everything running through my home theater system, and uh, it times out every, uh, like, 30 minutes because it doesn't consider this active for some reason. I don't know why, but... Um, where are we here? Oh, you sent a couple of photos? Perfect. I'm going to go check them in two seconds. Thank you very much. That was fast. Uh, and I want to open up Raven's channel before I go because I didn't want to forget because I want to make sure that I have it for after. All right, let's go to Twitter and see what we got. Oh, no, Kathy, that's right. Your Facebook, right? I believe. If you're, you're the Facebook crowd. So you bear with me for a second. I'm going to open it up. It's such a pain to go through the business manager to get your page on Facebook. Not that I mind you sending Facebook, Kathy. As long as you're here, that's all. That's all I want. <laughs> that's all I ask for. Oh yeah, this should be good. Yeah. Hmm. Gonna double check something. Sorry, guys. I just hope yours are mingling among yourselves for a second. I'll just be a second. Um, Kathy, are you still here? I'm just wondering, your pictures are spectacular. I'm just wondering where you're getting them from. Uh, do you, like, is that, are they from Facebook that you're sending them over? Like pictures that are posted in your Facebook? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, and Kathy, by the way, I I was roaring last night. Xenia and I both, when you sent that video about uh, what Andrew's like. Okay, Kathy, yeah, can you send them from your computer? Because they're, they are still small. If you can, uh, because they're excellent. Those are perfect. Uh, if you could just send those two, that would be excellent. Just because uh, they're very hard, they'll be hard to edit. Because I always do large uh, 300 DPI and then bring it down just to keep the thumbnails extra crisp. And plus, if I'm going to do any kind of editing to it, uh, it's easier if they're bigger. Uh, sorry for the extra work, but it would be really great. Wicked Fabs, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. God, there's some early risers here this morning. Well, it depends where you're out of. I remember you. I remember you. Yes, your channel. How's things going? I actually, I'm going to keep you open. I'll give you another watch after. So good to have you here. Thanks, Kathy. I really do appreciate it. 
Yeah, exactly. That's hard. But it, like hers, I think, are more like the previous size. They were like 31K, even if there were, had to been like the original blown up one. Because I do, I can shrink them small enough, they will work fine in a 300 DPI. Um, I've always told people when you're doing thumbnails, you can't think the same way as pictures that you're doing on a wall, even though I do them at 300 DPI. I always compare it to the example of the way they prepare food that you eat in a plane versus what you eat on the ground. All the food, because you lose your taste bud senses as you go higher, they have to compensate by putting in uh, more spices and more sugars to make that food more palatable. And the same with a thumbnail. Like I have a picture that uh, for the hour train long one. Was it that one or the fog? I forget. But it's a nice shot, and the clouds are like amazing. These big building clouds got the CN train coming, you know, the field. It looks iconic. And it is as a picture. But as a thumbnail, it's horrible because as nice as that looks, by the time you shrink it down and think of what people are going to see, you bring it in Photoshop to what people are going to see it as. I mean, there's no detail left. And the same with your photos, and uh, that's why your thumbnails can't, you can't go through the same design process. You got to use a lot more contrast than you usually would. You can overdo the colors a bit. That's okay. You can get away with it. There's more leniency. I mean, don't blow them right off the spectrum. But you can definitely add an extra 20%, 25% because that's what's catching people's eyes. Where in a picture, it would look absolutely horrible. So, we just did the on Tuesday night tech talk. We did a whole thing on just, 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 just thumbnails and plugins for YouTube. So if any of you haven't seen it yet, uh, Xenia does a great walkthrough of Canva and how to make great thumbnails in five minutes or less, high res ones. Oh, wait, who did I miss? Who got 700? Lisa, 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 who am I missing here? Sorry, guys, I should have been paying more attention to the chat. Uh, who got uh, 700? Can somebody let me know? Yes, you do, Raven. That's it's good that you keep them interesting like that. It's uh oh, like I said, that's why when he told me to call him Tony a while ago, I'm like. Pfft. I would love to. I mean, no disrespect, but I'll never remember. I forget my own name half the time. And and Lisa, who we've known for a while now, I do apologize. Lisa, congratulations. And yes, you're at 832. You're the old expression like my grandfather would say, you're growing like a bad weed. Good for you, and it's good to see. you got a great channel. Uh, well deserved. So excellent. Great job. My Japanese life, so you're going to check out. Good. Yeah, definitely. It really does have a lot of info. We do Tech, to, tech Talk Tuesday every week, and uh, you can come with questions and stuff. I know because you're in the UK, it's five-hour time difference. not so easy to catch, but, you know. I'm just looking through here. Yeah, 832, that's great. That's really good. I don't know whether I will reach one case for this, Neil, but I am aiming for five. Exactly. That's, you can't set it, you know, don't get discouraged with yourself, and it will go up and down. We went from 42 in the beginning of February, and I think we're at 1360 right now. But, like we were just talking about a while ago, it was a way hard, it feels so much harder to go from 1250 to 1360 than it ever did from 42 to 1000. Uh, and not the thousand was easy, and I mean we worked our butts off for it. But oh, okay. Well, I I, I will check right away, Kathy. And I'm not a big Twitter guy. Uh, Xenia does the uh, does Twitter mostly. Let's see what we got here. Do, 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 do. I think we are good. Let's see. That one looks good. That is nice. And are you going to send the other one as well, Kathy? Because there was two of them. The other one, because uh, we got to see which one fits. If you can send both of them. The one where you guys are standing in front of the, the red brick of the house, like more closer together. 
If you could send that one last one, if you have that one higher res, that would be perfect, and I'll be done bothering you. <laughs> yeah, see that one's perfect for that size. It's just because the way it's fitting, I'll not know until I put it in which one will fit better for the area. I'm sorry, dear. You are a sweetheart as always. And thank you, and you did great with Twitter. You nailed it. If you can't find that one, like one just where they're kind of more clumped, you guys are all kind of clumped together more like that instead of like lengthways. Just something that, you know, one lengthways and one more together helps. So at least there's just two options. Yep. Uh, Tony. See, I, I almost forgot already. And you can drop by our live stream tonight. I'm not doing it just to put on our stream, but I mean, there is a lot of people in there. They're pretty good supporters. There's more people usually at night. I'm going to bring your friend. Everybody, if you can, invite some friends to come at night. That's a huge help. I, we really appreciate that. I don't want to be marketing. We asked once or twice if you can send out on Twitter, which a lot of you do, and it means the world to us. But I'm not going to hound you every five minutes to invite, invite, invite. I just hope you can sometimes bring some friends from all your different groups because if you all start bringing a couple from each, everybody gets to mingle and uh, you get more supporters for each other and we get a bigger audience. And the bigger the audience, the more people will come in general. So it's a win-win for everybody. Hmm? Is that Audrey? Is that uh, Audrey? Because my daughter, she's always saying message every time she hears it, even though my... Uh, Phone is not loud enough, I guess, to her. I was wondering if that one was from Kathy. I see it. Is Kathy? There we go. That's great, too, guys. It's so nice. I love, like, Xenia, I think it's one of our favorite things in the world is when we watch people connecting, not just on YouTube, but then taking it to Twitter and stuff. Excellent, guys. It's the main key to building a channel. I always try to do channel shoutouts to Ro. Doing one tomorrow at five, respectively, respective YouTubers' channels, as I like. Support. Good. That's right. It is a community, you know, and that is a fundamental. No matter how much you're involved or not involved, <clears throat> the more you work together, the more everybody's getting out of it. So it's good to, you know, just connect with the right people. And even within a community, you don't need to be buddy buddy with every single person into it. Find the ones that work best with you and really stay strong with them. Support everybody that you can, unless you're like horribly offended by what they do. Then that's a different story but really work with the ones who truly give you the most uh who compliment you the most because then usually you'll count you're complimenting them the most as well so that's yeah, so nice to see tony you're doing well yeah no raven does some great show videos she's very respectful to people and stuff like that i love that i mean that's that's what quality channels are all about. They really are. I have such a mess going on this morning with Windows. Holy God almighty, I got 500 of them open. And that's usually like my biggest pet peeve. I had, uh, And I'm messaging a bunch of people. There's some more or trying to get uh, uh, smoking and grilling with AB on the channel and stuff like that. And you guys, too, if you can think of somebody that you think should be interviewed, like, please suggest them to us or ask them and if they're interested send them our way you know it's always good to have uh, okay now i get it now i understand Yeah, your phone's going in Monday, you right, Raven, if I remember correctly. And you're gonna set up uh I think you spoke with Xenia, right? You're gonna be on once you uh, you're gonna uh come on with us once you get back. Huh. 
Way to go, Tony. Good for you. I'm happy to see that. Well done, my friend. Uh, myself, I use for equipment. Oh, uh, every, hey, Art Geek, welcome. Good to see you. Very nice to see you. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Um, uh, who was it? Wicket Fabs was just asking what equipment we use. I, I shoot everything with the DJI Osmo. Um, cell phone goes in here. This is the camera from the DJI Inspire. It is the actual camera, so there's only a memory chip that goes in it. You have to control it with your phone the same you would any drone. And uh, this, this here, I'm trying to think of a way I can show you what it looks like. This comes on and off. This is the Z axis. And basically, you would take off the top here, it just twists off and lift. And this goes in. And then the camera goes up on the other end, and that's for when I'm doing my steady cam shots, walking and stuff like that. It shoots at 4K, 30 frames, goes up to uh, uh, 120 frames at 1080. I mean, it's it's not a fast camera. It's not something you can just whip out and take a shot with you because it does take about a minute to get it going. It's, it, it's the same prep time as a drone. It's an it's a basically this is just a drone on a stick, but it's all customizable. I can run a selfie stick on here, put this down below, and then use it. Oh, DJI Krimi, welcome. Hey, it's been a while. How's it going? Good to see you. Another one of the alumni guys. Can you believe it? After a couple of months, we're already like the old guys, the alumni. <laughs> How goes it, buddy? Good to have you. What's going on? Yeah, no, I know, Kathy. Even with us, I got three kids, and I know it's not the easiest to get them all together. I will right away. I shall do that. Where is my... I have so many windows open this morning. This just. I don't like doing that because that's not me. There we go. That is a really nice photo of you guys, by the way. Really cool. I I, li I like it a lot. I'm going to check everything right away and make sure, because, yeah, I'll get the promo video ready in that this morning, because I got... Stuff to do with the kids and things, so I want to get that done, and I'll have it scheduled to go up. Morning, James Cox. How are you this morning? Oh, what's going on, DJ Kermy? Sorry about that. You've been feeling bad all week. Sick or? Oh, a headache. What, were you drinking or what? <laughs> That's too bad, James. Yes, Kathy, your husband did make some pretty good-looking kids. <laughs> you are so sweet. Uh, yeah, That's really too bad. Huh? Not fun to have a headache, my friend. Have you been taking anything for it? Oh my God, DJ Krimi, I I'm I'm so sorry. Wow. Oh, I I I I, I don't know what to say. I hope you feel better. Wow. Is there anything you can do to help with it or? We were just talking a while ago, Xenia has chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia. That's She's been having a rough go of it there the last week. Uh, it comes in boats. I, I'm, I, oh, that's too bad. Well, I hope you feel better. Sincerely, I really do. 
no alcohol james it was coffee okay well that's i didn't think so i was just saying that to bug you for a second i'm sorry you have a headache though that doesn't make things that doesn't make things easy you know nobody deserves pain and i don't care if it's my worst enemy i don't care if it's the worst person to face the earth i don't wish pain on anybody especially chronic pain so art geek i literally have three to five things that's been opened and i remember i think it was actually james that asked me that about three weeks ago and i'm still no further ahead onto them i'm getting so frustrated at this point mm -hmm. Because like if you take channels that do crafts and stuff or hobbies and that, like they do them right on as they're doing their channels. So they're kind of killing two birds with one stone. And I love this live stream. I love what we're doing with it. I'm happy where it's going. I'm happy the way it's growing. And I, but I miss editing because that's my passion. So I'm finding that very hard. Andrew stepped out of the yard for a few minutes after our discussion, and there were some new additions to see at Camaro time. Oh, what kind of new? Con what? Uh, is ever is everything okay? Because I'm kind of worried about you this morning, Camaro time. After everything that happened. I I hope everything is all right. So I, I'm going to catch up up here early in trial. Hope you feel better. Hope you feel better. Uh, DJ Kerry out here, if you ever. Oh, that's sweet. Raven's so sweet. It, James, it does not make things easy when you have to do an eight-hour, yeah, online marathon like that. Yeah, no, definitely not, for sure. Not easy at all. Matt Ralph Wright. God, you're always like the wind. I get it, though. I get it. And I wish the time's on. And one of these days, you're just going to have to uh, take some, uh, I don't know, extra coffee or something, because we got to keep you up and get you on for an interview. Because you and I connected uh, right from the beginning. I love your work. I love the series you do with your kid. Uh, you got your new video up? Okay. I will definitely have to go and check that out. Um, there, I'm going to channel. And when this is all done, I'm going to check that out for sure. But yeah, I will have to find out something, or we'll have to let you go to bed for a couple hours, and we'll call and wake you up. <laughs> uh, new blooms have a new look when you get a chance and want to. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. That's right, come out of time. Yes, bottle caps, you are right. It is a balance, but it, that's, that's the problem when the pain outweighs you know the balance that's where it gets hard and it starts eating at your quality of life you know like i said i got a wife who's 34 years old and i'm older than her and i always figured i'd be the first one to get sick it would never be her and uh you know that's been a hard pill to swallow to be perfectly honest you know and i feel guilty almost that i should be the one having it not her because um You know, she's young to have it. And she brought back a lot of life in my life when I was kind of more, you know, coming out of a marriage that ended. I mean, they never end well and stuff and then trying to find a new outlook. And the person that brings all that energy and, and, and light back into you and then to see them sick like that, you know, it's not a very fair, I don't know. Well, I, anyway, it was, it's all good. I'm not going to get too much into the. Yes, Matt, and so great to have you here, and I'll check that out after. I love your work, and definitely, I know, like I said, I know the time range sucks, but if we can work it out, I would really, really love to sit out, even if we could just get an hour in the two of us. Cheers, my friend. Art key. My morning stream got taken over by advice for channels. I really need to learn how to focus and not get off on tangents. Not go off. Oh, I get what you. I get where you're coming from. Okay, now I get you. Yeah, yeah, we've thought about it, but 
right now. I don't. I mean, we're already having enough trouble trying to keep one channel afloat. I, but I have thought of that. I, I, I it has crossed my mind. Uh, we have even talked about it lately, but we're still doing the live streams. But you know, I, I, I'm right now at this point. I'm already feel pulled five ways from Sunday. But it, it is a valid point, and yeah, I have thought about it. Yeah. But not at this point. I I would even a website. I have everything registered, and I haven't done it yet because I just don't even have the time to right now. We got a lot of stuff going on. Once I get some other things settled, we're going to be a lot easier. I mean, it's not going to clear us up. It's still going to be chaotic, but maybe a little more controlled chaotic. Uh, bottle caps. Kathy, are you on the show tonight? Yes, she is, and we're still hoping for her husband to make his appearance. So. Uh, yeah, and there's a marathon tonight, so enjoy it, guys. I have to still push because we booked this before, though. If you can make it back, please, for 8 p.m. to catch Kathy, that would be great. You can all network the time. So uh, I think it's going to be a really great interview. So there, they all complement each other. We'll keep everybody rolling. So you're off, Camaro. Once again, hey, buddy, we have your back. And I'm sure you got lots of close knit family and friends with you, and they'll get you through this. But also know if you need anything else that they can't or you don't feel comfortable with or talking, whatever the case, please don't feel shy to lean on us. We can always have a private chat or anybody, anybody you're close to in here. I'm sure they'd all offer you the same thing in a heartbeat. So you take care of yourself, and things will get better. They they always do. They just don't feel like it at the moment. Uh, Excellent. There you go. So, yeah, it, art, art geek design. I'm always going to say art Greek. I'm sure laughing right now just hearing me do that. Art geek design is an awesome channel. So, uh, it's, it is really good. I'm so behind in the chat. I'm, I'm going to have to jump the phone. Gregory, I'm so lost without Xenia in these things. Oh my God. I find the chat so hard when it's just one person. There, guys, I just jumped in the head because I'm just going to drive you guys crazy as I'm getting caught up. So, <laughs> yeah, Raven, that's cool. Exactly. Like, uh, not in no pissing contest, and uh, it starts early. So, I mean, definitely, I hope the stream goes well, gets lots of people, uh, the marathon, I should say, and uh, wish them all lots and lots and lots and lots of luck. And, and just remember, we're at 8 p.m. Eastern, and we're going to have Kathy. Yeah, that's, and that's good, James, you found that. And it sounds like it's bringing some balance to your life. That's great. I mean, what else could a person ask for? That's, that's, that's amazing. It's not just what you do. It's how what you're doing makes you feel about it. You know, and I'm not trying to use like a placebo answer. It's fine, James. It just kind of goes and blurts. This is impromptu this morning. We catch what we catch. <laughs> this is coffee time. But yes, I know. It is speeding by times of shooting around. <laughs> I did it uh, the other day for that one. If it seems like it just keeps going too fast, yeah, I will have to, though, because, yeah, if sometimes it goes in spurts, and then I slow it down, and then it really trickles in. Where you guys, you guys have a lot of people going at the same time and stuff like that. It's it's like a constant machine. So <laughs> I wish there was a way you could control it here. That's one thing I'm hoping they do when they're revamping YouTube. Is they're gonna put here where you have like just a drop down menu quickly and pick like different time increments that make sense. That's what they really should have. Oh, NW Lawn Dog. Wow, it's been a couple of days. How are you doing? Good to see you. Love it. Yeah, you're going into your busy season like we had talked, so I'm really happy to have you here. How's things going? Mike Potter is very good. James, I agree with you on that also. In my style, so. Yep. Exactly. Raven, uh, uh, well, must Kathy and Jesse be wearing the black? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You never know. You never know. Miss Kathy's always full of surprises. She's a pistol packing mama. 
I am hoping her husband comes. So I guess it's pretty much confirmed, but she doesn't want to say 100% in case he changes his mind. But he doesn't like being in the camera too, too much. <laughs> but it would be a real pleasure to have him on. The mystique, get to meet the mystique of the man. Well, that's great, NW. I'm glad to hear that. Good for you. How's things with you, Gregory? Maya, welcome. Good to have you here. Good to see you. Oh, there's my TV. Again, oh, I put on the wrong one there. That's better. Yes, yes. Uh, we had Saint Otto on last night, and we were actually talking about you. And he was telling me that book this you were going to that. That's really cool. Looking forward to seeing lots of great footage. Oh, she's, God, Kathy, you're so crazy. <laughs> you are, yeah, that's what I meant. She is. I don't use that term often, like from the days the Dukes has, but she is a pistol packing mama. <laughs> I was remember that moment when I had Miss Kathy and Jessica. Oh, guys, now don't start. Oh. <laughs> Everybody be nice to each other. <laughs> be good. Everybody's doing good. Everybody's winning. Remind me to choose. I don't want. <laughs> God. Oh, guys. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to turn that a bit. No, that's better. Just have my coffee here. Behave. <laughs> what time are you starting at, James? 3? 3 p.m.? Take care, Raven. You're such a sweetheart. Thank you so much for coming. No, no, I'm just laughing at the two of you. You two are like, like, uh, you're volatile. I never know where you are going. <laughs> oh, 2 p.m. Okay. Well, like I say, I'll send out everybody once again. The marathon is at 2 p.m. Eastern time today. Go and enjoy, make lots of connections, grow your channels, and then make sure you're back for 8 p.m. with us. Catch Kathy, Miss Kathy, her husband, and and her daughter, Jessie, and maybe even some of her sons. There you go. <laughs> it's a win-win for everybody. Are you going to mention we have Miss Kathy on your stream, James? <laughs> yeah. That's right. Same here. It made good video though, and we and help with the we have a career. So mm, there you go. Mm. 
<laughs> Steph, welcome. Good to see you. I see you're up there. I was going to catch you a minute ago. New Orleans, Louisiana. How's your French? Thank you, James. And I don't want to do it, like I said, right from the get-go. We're all in this together. There's enough for everybody. Like even the 70, we already had that book in advance, and still I'm, I'm wishing you lots with the, uh, lots of luck with the, the the marathon. I'm sure it'll do well. And like the other the other day, the with the I wasn't with you, and I that's why I mentioned it in the live stream, so nobody would think I was talking about you. That's exactly why. But you know, that was specifically done for that reason. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. I don't want to like I don't want to push it too much, but yeah, we'll see. Like I say, my sister, we're still on, but she's finicky is the word. So I've learned not to make all my plans based around her, but we're supposed to be there for supper. But maybe I can log on with the phone or something like that. <laughs> Kathy. <laughs> Definitely. I got nothing. Like, that's it. Like, the whole point is all complimenting each other and respectfully, you know, there's lots for everybody and it's all working. It's all going into the same. It's, it's, in my opinion, we have a lot of regulars that even a lot came from there or other places and they're regulars and they're bringing friends and they're bringing new people and I want them to grow and, you know, the same. We don't even do the same thing. That's, that's the part about it. We're all kind of doing our, our, it would be so, to me, it would be so god-awful for everybody to be doing the same thing every day in two, three-hour blocks from morning till night. I don't think it would have any productiveness to it. But, I mean, by doing them all, we're almost kind of turned into like a network television in the way that we have TV shows that people can tune in from. And there's tons of gray area that's always running through there. And uh, they... Um, uh, that's the only chance of ever really growing is is always having newer people coming by and stuff like that. Like Xenia is making a new effort. I, I mean, I shouldn't talk too much about it yet. We're going to start to have more uh, people too coming from uh, places like that do podcasts and stuff and aren't so big on YouTube to try and um, like bring in new, uh, new blood for lack of a better term, new audience, you know, kind of keep it fresh. And I want to do that because I have a really good, solid core after a short time of doing this, and I want to keep it going for them. So they always have new people they can interact with, meet. So, oh, you're off, Grader. You take care of yourself. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, uh, my driver's license renewed. And, oh, good luck with that. I hope it all goes well. Fingers crossed. And like I say, we're on tonight at 8, 8 p.m. If you can drop in and say hi, it would be great to see you for a few minutes. Kathy's not a black sheep. She's a cougar bottle cap says exactly. Exactly. That's right. That's right, NW. You know. Oh, uh, We've been like that from the get-go, you know. Uh, that's been, I couldn't be any more clear about it if I tried. And that's at anybody. I and mean, we've had other, you know, Drama or a pissing contest, we're just we just check out of it. We won't even give it the time of day. So, and not that, and I don't want to say that because James and I'm just talking. We're talking in general, and I'm especially with the guy on the other day is more where I'm getting at. Uh, I'm uh, I'm a very reactive person, <laughs> and and that was that other day was like that where I invited somebody on trying to be nice, and they pushed it, and I just not only pushed back, I just cut it off right at the knees. Art Geek, so great to have you as always. You are amazing. I uh, hope you have an amazing day. And thank you for coming. Don't thank me for the stream. You helped make the stream. So thank you. Yeah, I do. And 
I'm like that at the beginning because I, I don't like just doing something. I really want to understand it. And I'm not good at jumping into things without uh, uh, having an understanding of something first. So I think that's what I'm kind of trying to get caught up with to see where I really feel about the whole thing with live streams and that. Yeah, yeah, that's right, NW. That's a really good slogan, actually. That should be like a uh, that that would make like one of those Facebook things, or that people, you know, you probably get two million shares if you put the right picture behind it or right gif. Thank you, Kathy. Thank. I I don't need the drama, and YouTube is not going to ever pay my bills unless I'm extremely lucky. You know, this is a sideline. Our first line is photography and videography in Montreal. That's what puts, what pays for where we live, the clothes my kids wear, the food we eat. That has all my attention. This is all. I was starting the resets like they were doing last night. I think there was like eight channels told me that last night. Yeah, you can hear me now? I'm not sure how much you guys meant of that, but thank you very much for saying that, Kathy. Oh, what happened on your stream, James? I, I just seen that now. Sorry. because right, what happened? Yeah, you guys might even be experiencing that today too, James. There was a lot of channels last night. Tom, remember about a week and a half ago that was happening? With live streams they were resetting and stuff like that so uh just uh letting you know but the good thing is you come right back so at least you don't have to worry like the last time they were like cutting them dead we thought it was just us but then talking to some other ones they told us the same thing okay so you heard that part okay good that's exactly it I'm not making more out of this than what it is. And I'm having an amazing time doing it with you guys. I'm making my life, honestly, a lot harder right now doing it because we're trying to adjust all of it, plus to keep our main jobs going. But I'm not going to go into all the wars and spewing and all this stuff. For what? <laughs> the wife must pull the plug. Exactly. Bottle caps. I do it all for bottle caps. Bottle caps is who makes it all worthwhile. If bottle caps goes, I'm out of here. And why bottle caps? Because of his bright, sunny demeanor. He always brings such a chipper ray of sun to everything that we do. How's that for a glowing endorsement, bottle caps? Tony, it looks like you did really well here. I'm, I'm glad to see that. Yes, bottle caps keeps life interesting. He's like that cracked fortune cookie that they, when they dropped a bunch of them on the table. <laughs> I'm glad you guys... Did I lose James? Yeah, I was saying something happened in his stream and I didn't get it. Uh, I, I apologize. Oh, there he goes. Here that I used to be full sport of, but he had a different opinion. I made a video about I'm a career. Well, then he was commenting on my videos and I think. Ah? A creator that I used to be supportive of, but we had a different opinion. Made a video about I'm a creator and the people involved. And he was commenting on my videos, and I think we turned him. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. That's that's nice. Congratulations. I I, I don't know which one it is, but that's and you don't have to tell him. But that's good. That's that's very good. Uh, no, not this morning, James. Not this morning. Sorry, I don't. And, and that's the kind of like the drama stuff I'm trying to really stay out of. In that, I'm happy for you. I'm glad it happened. Good or bad, you know. I, I, and I don't mean no disrespect. I just, 
this morning I'm just keeping the light. Xenia's in bed sick, and I got kids, and I'm I'm really happy it worked out. Uh, and another time, yeah, but uh, um, I think I'm gonna end this now, guys. Yeah, um. You guys have a good day, okay? I'm, I'm going to take off for a while, but um, have a good one. And uh, we'll see you after, okay? Take care. Bye now.